So one of the essentials of making any putt from any distance is hitting the ball in the center of the face, hitting the sweet spot of the ball and the putter. Eight footers are, are absolutely critical because I've got to get it to roll end over end. So what I've done is put on the, the Sweet Spot 360. It's a foam pad with an opening that, that adheres to the face with some uh, double stick type tape. But the idea is this, is that when I hit the ball in the center, hear that magic sound, that means the ball is hitting the putter face. If on the other hand, I hit it on the, the toe or the heel or low or high on the face, I don't hear anything. It may, it may jostle it offline if I catch an edge, but mostly I won't hear anything. The difference is if I hit it in the center, I can hear it and the ball will roll end over end. Put the Sweet Spot 360 on the putter face. Just use it through a normal course of your practice routines and listen for that magic sound. If you get it, the ball's rolling end over end. You're going to make these eight footers consistently because you're hitting it in the center of the face. So what happens when we step up to those eight footers, we know we ought to make them, we, lie, we just get a little tense and the next thing you know that putter comes back outside or it comes, comes through and goes outside uh, on the way through. So what I've done is put the edge putting rail in here. The idea is it gives me a guideline so that I can feel that putter back and through, staying on the plane, staying on the path. Feel the putter swing a little bit open, back to square, slightly closed. When we do that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to absolutely keep us in shape to be able to take that putter back and through perfectly to get that, the ball started on line. Where we, where we run into troubles is if we bring it back to the outside and then we kind of cut it or pull it or yank it or something. We don't want to do that. So we want to stay on the rail. When you, when you get a little bit more advanced with that, set the ball just outside the rail, then make the stroke and don't hit the rail. If you do that, you're going to find that that stroke is really getting the feedback that it needs to just make putt after putt after putt because the putter's staying on the rail the whole time. It's not out and clanks away. So put that edge putting rail into play. Keep that putter moving down the line. You know those eight footers where we kind of step up to them and we get a little bit tense and then we just kind of uh, wish them in and hands break down, shoulders freeze. Unfortunately, that's not uncommon, and it, it's not uncommon at any level of play. The distance may vary. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tackle this once and for all. We're gonna bring the pendulum putting rod into play. The point of that is, it goes on the back of the putter and comes up to my sternum, and, it, and if it went through my sternum, it would basically attach to my shoulder blades. And the idea is this. It absolutely forces my shoulders to continue to rotate, Pre prevents me from stalling the pivot. And the other thing it does is it prevents me from flipping my hands. If I do, it'll poke me in the chest, but it also is, it's so obvious because the, the, the rod and my shaft stay aligned. So let's do that. Let's get this right once and for all, get those eight footers lined up, get the pendulum rod in place and make a stroke. Boom. That's really solid where the stroke stays together, my shoulders continue to rotate, and my hands stay really nice and quiet and they don't flip the putter. I mean, it is the back of the hole every time. Put that into the practice routine for this week.